it is important to determine if you will accept pets. But before, you must find out what are the association's pet restrictions. There are two reasons why you may want to accept pets. First, you may charge pet rent, which could be an additional income, and a pet deposit to cover damages caused by the pet. The tenant has more incentive to avoid any damage if the pet deposit is refundable. And second, you avoid having hidden pets. Did you know that 67% of U.S. households own a pet? This is according to the most recent survey conducted by the American Pet Products Association. Knowing that there will be a pet in your property will help you review the renter's insurance to make sure it has a coverage to mitigate the risk of damage or injuries caused by pets to others or others' property. Be aware that service animals and emotional support animals must be accepted by landlords and associations and no deposit or pet rent can be charged pursuant to the first housing regulation.